Daniela Zendejas remembers her cousin Alexis Marone as a full of life 18 year old with an easy smile. Always smiling, happy. He enjoyed life. Zendeja says the high school senior played football and was involved in gymnastics at their high school in suburban Chicago. They were often together. He took a holiday trip to the Mexican state of Michoacán, a vacation that would be his last. Zendejas was unable to join him. He wanted to go see my grandma and my aunt's uncles over there. And we used to go out together, but this time he went alone. The body of Alexis Marone was found in the trunk of a car burned to its shell. The vehicle was found on a rural road in southern Mexico on Christmas Eve. Also in the car, the badly charred remains of two other Mexican men, his friends. Back in Rolling Meadows, Illinois, close friends of the victim can't understand why anyone would want to kill Marone in such a brutal way. I want people to know that he was a good kid. He was honest with everyone. You know, he always had that smile. He was warm-hearted. He was just a great kid. You know, he didn't, this shouldn't have happened. Both Brandon Leo and Kyle Gentile knew Marone well. They've set up a memorial page on Facebook and are organizing a memorial at their high school. No one ever would deserve this, but the way that he went is just so horrible that I couldn't even believe it. When someone told me that, I thought it was a joke. Violence in Michoacán has increased sharply in the last few years. The Mexican state is the scene of a bloody turf war between two ruthless drug cartels. But both Marón's family and his friends say the victim was not involved in anything illegal and was there only to visit his grandmother and a girlfriend he had recently met. Rafael Romo, CNN Atlanta.